What is going on guys, Hunter Medici here, bringing you guys a brand new video. Today, we are going to be go going over the top four tips that I used to climb in ranked League of Legends. Now, I know that I've been making a lot of these for a lot of different games, but Valorant, League of Legends, and TFT are the games that I play the most. And my goal is to help some of you guys be able to climb out of those elos that you're stuck in and be able to continuously succeed and keep climbing that ladder because if you were like me you were hard stuck gold for all of season seven and it was just the worst thing that could ever happen on the planet so let's get right into it with all of that being said i'm gonna stack them i'm gonna stack them about right here on the screen so that you guys can watch them i've just put one of my older vods on the screen so that you guys have something to kind of watch and look at rather than just staring at this lovely lovely face of mine so, number one, macro. Macro is the game around you. That's the way I like to think of it. When you play a specific lane and you're in a lower elo and you're trying to get better at the game, it's really easy to tunnel vision right on your lane. Your, your one goal is to just beat your lane. As long as you come out on top of your lane, you feel good, you feel proud, and then nine out of 10 times you still lose the game. Frustrated because you beat your laner I mean, you went 6-0 in, in your lane, so why did I lose the game? Well, because you didn't focus on your macro. Yes, you got a large lead, but you didn't take that lead and transfer it across the map. If you're playing mid lane, you didn't go to top lane and help out a gank while your jungler was bot lane. You didn't duo gank like that. And so your top laner really struggled because he was falling behind. Your jungler was trying to save top lane. I mean, I could go on for this for an hour. Uh, you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. You take a lead that you gain and you transfer it between the entire game. You roam, you go steal the enemy's jungle camps, you go plant wards in very specific spots in the enemy jungle so that you can help your team in any way, shape, or form. So, with that being said, macro play, number one. Number two, this is kind of a controversial one, but this is one that I use and it really helped me out, so why not share the info for you guys? So this is gonna be stick to two lanes that you will main and three champs in each of those lanes. So if you wanna play top and mid, great. Those are your two lanes that you're gonna play. The three champs that you're gonna pick are gonna be champs that you're gonna play all the time and you're gonna really hone their skills and you're really gonna become a master at this champion. You'll learn their abilities properly. You'll learn when to use them. You'll learn how to use them. This will give you a leg up, especially if you're in the bronze elo, the silver elo the gold elo because in this elo people are trying the meta they're trying whatever they can to get to that point and to be able to win they think oh i just have to play whatever's broken at the time that's not the case you can beat someone with someone that's been hit with six nerfs in a row because you know how to play that champion better now why do i say three there's always a chance that your main is going to be banned at some point in the game if you're top main and you main shen like i do there's a good chance that it's going to be banned and so you need to have champs that you can fall back on to ensure that you don't get stuck playing someone that you've never played before or someone that you haven't played in seasons because that is never fun so to recap stick to two lanes three champs in each lane with that we're moving on to number three we're hauling through these. I'm trying to keep it short so that you guys don't have to sit here forever and just listen to me talk. Number three, mute your all chat. I cannot stress this enough. Mute it as soon as the game starts. Just mute it. Don't even, don't even try to figure out if they're toxic or not because let's be honest, we're playing League of Legends, which is like notorious for having the most toxic chat or fan base in like all of esports. So just mute them. Just get in the game, mute them. All they're going to do is they're going to complain all they're gonna do is they're gonna say report you for not ganking whatever you know whatever it may be and all that's gonna do is get under your skin it's gonna make you mad it's gonna make you try to type back to them and all that does is draw your focus away from the game and onto your teammates which nine out of ten times will cause loss because all that does is lead to arguing and arguing leads to lack of focus lack of focus leads to not caring and by that point everybody wants to surrender because you had a lead but your bot lane was mad at you, the jungler, because you didn't gank when they specifically asked you to do so. So, just mute it. Just mute the all chat. Okay, with that being out of the way, 
Number four, rewatch your VODs. Now, I'm sure that you guys have heard this one plenty of times before. And if you're like me, I went through 12 different YouTube videos on how to rank up and how to climb in League of Legends. You, you know, you reach those videos that they're like, oh, these 12 tips, these 10 tips, and every single one of them will have re-watching your VODs. Now, if you're like me, again, you were like, that's not going to do anything. All that's going to do is waste time when I could be playing until one day you're really bored and you keep losing your game. So you sit back and you watch one of your VODs and you're, you're able to look and see, oh, when Mundo in the top lane started playing really aggressive, his jungle was there. And I noticed that he was playing aggressive, but I, I decided to try and 1v1 him anyway, which his jungle was hiding in the bush, which should have been warded. Just, I mean, right there, that could have been a 30 second section of your video. And you were able to learn, I need to be warding better. I need to pay attention to the enemy champion. If he's playing really aggressive and he's losing, there's a good chance that there's going to be a gank. Or even if he's if he's winning in lane and he's playing really aggressive, there's a good chance that there's going to be a gank. Looking at when you should have teleported bot lane in order to turn a fight that was going sour for your team and they're shoved under turret. So you TP bot lane. But instead of doing that, you just sat top lane and maybe died or maybe got a turret plate, you know, whatever it may be. Just being able to rewatch and see what you're doing wrong and maybe even writing those things down and putting them somewhere on your desk so that you can constantly see them and you can constantly remind yourself, okay, I need to be pay paying more attention to where I'm warding or I need to be utilizing my ult more often and not just sitting on it, you know. All of these things that you can learn from re-watching your VODs will really help you grow. If there's one thing that you take away from this, it's re-watch your VODs. I'm telling you right now, it changed my game entirely. I went from silver in season seven to gold in season eight to diamond in season nine. So with all of that being said, like I said, I'm trying to keep it short for you guys, but I do want to help you out. So. If these tips helped out in any way in six months from this video being released or tomorrow from when this video is released, if these helped you out at all, let me know down in the comments because I love to see that the advice that I'm offering is being taken and put to great use because we all know how difficult it is to sit in silver or gold for months at a time. It makes you just not want to play the game anymore and nobody wants to not play their favorite game anymore. So follow these tips and they will help you out, I promise. But anyway, guys, that was my top four tips for climbing ranked in League of Legends. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below as well as a comment. Let me know what you did or didn't like from the video. I take all criticism and I respond to all comments as well as subscribe. It also really helps me out and lets me know that you guys do enjoy the videos that I make. So with all of that being said, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and thank you for joining the Stone Army.